Before we look at a network operating system, let's look at this term in general. An operating system is software that manages the resources of a computer system, such as memory, users and files. It also provides a user interface so that humans can interact with the device's hardware. And crucially for this course, an operating system allows application software to be opened and run. A network operating system, which is often just abbreviated to NOS, is software that manages network resources and allows computers to communicate across a network. The main type of device that will use an NOS is a server. Other devices, such as desktops or laptops, connect to the server to access shared resources. And Windows Server is an example of a popular NOS. Here are some of the key characteristics of an NOS. It allows for the centralized management of users, data and security across multiple devices on a network. It enables resources such as files, applications and printers to be shared across the network. It manages user authentication and permission control and it oversees remote access and system monitoring tools. The three main advantages of an NOS are very similar to the characteristics we just looked at. First of all, administrators can manage users' files and security on a network from one central location. They can share resources such as files, printer, access and applications across the network, and they can control access levels and user authentication to help protect data. Two more advantages include that it's very scalable. This means that more devices and users can be added quite easily as necessary. And also that central servers managed by NOS make it easy to back up and restore important files. Disadvantages of network operating systems include that they need to be purchased and maintaining them can be quite expensive. Setting them up and managing them is complex and may require skilled administrator staff. If the main server running the NOS fails, then all connected computers may lose access to resources. And also heavy traffic or poor configuration of the operating system could slow the network down. Finally, let's look at who would actually use a network operating system. So this course is all about developing applications. So app developers may use it to build, test and manage apps that specifically require to work across a network, such as web applications, multiplayer games or cloud tools. This type of operating system is also used by organizations that need to manage multiple devices, users and resources efficiently across a network, such as a small business or a school.